Hey there! In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 lucrative vintage clothing items that you should be flipping. Hi, I'm Lee, and I'm the founder of ListeningToFreedom.com. I've made over 70,000 flipping items on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and I'm ready to teach you how to make money flipping thrift finds. Vintage clothing is one of the most profitable niches that I sell in, and it's going to continue to do well into the coming years. I've put together this video of 10 lucrative items for you to flip. Let's get started. Number one is vintage overalls. This is a super hot trend right now, and it's not uncommon for overalls to go for $50 or more, just like these Gap overalls that sold for almost $80. Don't worry about stains, fraying, or holes with this sort of trend. It's part of the look. It's part of that grunge era look from the 1990s. Also, if you come across overalls that have embroidery, such as Mickey Mouse or even Winnie the Pooh, these also can sell for really well, just like this pair of Winnie the Pooh overalls that sold for $40. And don't forget about overalls closely related cousin, the short all. These are the short overalls. Check out these guess vintage short alls that sold for almost $60. Number two on the list is vintage men's Jinko jeans. These are the jeans that all the cool kids wore in the 90s. These were skater, wide leg style. Some of them have really intricate, wild pattern of embroidery on them. The wilder that that logo is, that embroidery is, the more money that these tend to sell for. Check out this pair of Jinko jeans that sold for nearly $150. These jeans have a very high sell-through rate, which makes them a great candidate to put on auction. Again, with this style, don't worry about if the jeans have fraying or holes in them. It's all part of that grunge look. And don't overlook other brands if they're not Jinko, but if they're still that wide leg skater baggy style, those can sell for $50 even for brands that you may not have heard of before. Number three on the list is men's Nike vintage windbreakers. These can sell for as much as $100. You're going to want to look for anything with a big swoosh or what are called spell out letters. So the word Nike or even the Air Jordan spelled out either across the back or the front of the item. Look for both full zip jackets as well as pullover style jackets. Check out this Nike Air Jordan jacket that sold for almost $70. Number four on the list are vintage gunny sacks dresses. These are dresses that are straight out of the 70s. They'll have a very flowy boho vibe to them. A lot of them have floral prints and ruffles. Additionally, the gunny sacks brand made dresses into the 80s and these also sell very well. Um, look for those puffy sleeves that were typical of the 80s dresses. Now these dresses can sell for into the thousands of dollars, but most will sell for a hundred to an hundred and fifty dollar range. Check out this dress that sold for over thirteen hundred dollars. Number five on the list is men's vintage Filson clothing. Now these can sell for a ton of money, especially the coats, but don't overlook other items like vests, t-shirts, hats. The coats can sell for um, $200 to $500 depending on the condition. Check out this buffalo plaid coat that sold for over $250 or this other Mackinac that sold for $372. If you come across damaged items that have large tears or moth holes, don't be afraid to sell these either. I've seen these sell oftentimes for well over $100. Number six on the list are vintage men's German wool pants. I know that's a mouthful. And there's a lot of different brands out there, but the tags all look something like this and they'll have a whole bunch of numbers on them. Those numbers don't really mean a whole lot of anything, but these pants can sell for $50 to $100. What you want to look for in these pants are specifically for pants that have what's called a vapor barrier in the knee. And this will be a crinkly material. It's very loud and noisy. So if you touch the knee area, you'll hear this loud crinkle. And that's the vapor barrier. And those are the pants that people are typically more after than pants without vapor barriers. Just like this pair that sold for $75. Number seven on the list is vintage jean jackets. 
Now, all sorts of brands are selling, but specifically Levi's are selling really well. Wranglers also sell pretty well, but don't overlook other brands like this Sears brand that sold for $75. If you can find Sherpa lined jean jackets, those are selling especially well right now. That's the faux fur that's around the collar and in the body of the jacket. This Levi's Sherpa lined jacket sold for $160. Number eight on the list are vintage Wilson's leather jackets. I find that the men's jackets sell much better than the women's and also brown jackets sell better than black jackets. You're also going to want to look for the Adventure Bound label by Wilson's, and this is one of the jackets that sold for over $100. If you're wondering what that Adventure Bound label looks like, this is what it looks like. Number nine on the list was a surprise to me, and these are vintage Adidas athletic shorts. These shorts, especially if they have a really short inseam, are selling for upwards of $50, just like this pair. You're also gonna wanna look for Adidas shorts that have a shiny material. This shiny material is a hot seller right now. Check out these shiny soccer shorts that sold for almost $40. Number 10 on the list, last but not least, are vintage Moomoo's. Now I find a lot of other resellers are not tapping into this profitable niche, but these Moomoo's can sell for upwards of $50. What you're gonna wanna look for with these are the larger sizes, especially plus sizes. You're gonna wanna look for brightly patterned Moomoo's, as well as ones that are made in the US or specifically in Hawaii. Check out this Royal Creations Moomoo that sold for $70. If you're new to reselling and want to learn how to make money flipping items like these, I'd love to invite you to my free course called Reseller Bootcamp. It's a five-day course that's delivered straight to your inbox, and I'd love to have you join in. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future videos like this to learn more about reselling.